Um, re re really good win for us. Ob obviously, uh, you know, Jeff is tremendous, uh, one of the staples in the ACC. And what they've done, as a matter of fact, we've talked about it a little bit. Um, as a program, you know, we're trying to grow and trying to, you know, be one of the elite teams. This is the only place that we hadn't won. And uh, we talked about that coming into, uh, into the game. And, uh, and we knew we were going to get their best shot. You know, they're very good and they're playing very well. Other than the Syracuse game, you know, they, they, they've been able to finish a lot of those games. So um, really good win for us. I thought our kids were really connected today. They were, they were really connected. We had practice yesterday and we were as, as efficient as I've ever seen us. And uh, they were just really workmanlike, knew what they wanted to do, came in very, very confident in our ability. Um, the crowd, obviously 12,000 people here. I really think what they've been through in the last year uh, has helped prepare them for this. Uh, you know, we went to Seattle and played an arena just like this. Went to uh, Dallas, played an arena like this. We had the game in Charlotte uh, this year, where it was 15,000 people, and uh, and so they were they were really connected to where the crowd wasn't going to be a factor. And when you get off to a good start and you start shooting the ball well, uh, you control the narrative, and we were able to keep them out of it. So, uh, great win. These two were were terrific, uh, very very efficient uh, in their production. They've been playing extremely well. I'm very proud because um, everybody tries to take away certain areas of our game, and uh, they've been able to step in and, uh, and counter that and, and react to that. And when you have that makings and you're not just a one-trick pony, um, you can be a very dangerous basketball team. So we'll continue on. We get a much-needed bye. You know, I think we're one of the last teams in the ACC to get a bye. Uh, we played 15 straight, and uh, so we're off on Thursday, so we'll get much-needed rest. But very proud of these kids. Were you guys born in 1995? No. no. <laughs> um, I think, you know, we just came out this game and a lot of different pieces were playing really well. Um, and that hasn't necessarily happened, you know, in too many games. But moving forward, if we keep, you know, shooting the ball like we did and if me and Georgia stay consistent, um, I think we're really, really confident uh, any single game that we enter uh, that we can come out with a win. Um, and this is just proof to how well we can play. Um, I think we did a really good job at, like we knew that they were going to take risks on defense and you know they were a bit more undisciplined and willing to you know try and shoot steals and stuff like that. But I think we did a good job at finding that open player within our breakdowns and you know we ran our sets with with confidence and we were able to find the breakdowns. I don't think we really forced anything and you know all of that helps when you hit down a shot to make them pay for the risks that they want to take. Uh, Kenny, uh, so much will be talked about Liz and Georgia. They combined for 49. But when you guys were in foul trouble a little bit, players like Carly stepped up and hit some big shots. She had that uh, layup through contact. And Matilda hit, hit two big threes to open the second quarter. What can you say about just how everybody stepped up, not just those two with you? You know, they're, they're terrific. They're two of the best players in the country and rightfully deserving. Um, but the other players are very capable. And, uh, and I think what, what's going on now is everyone is, is morphing into their role. They're understanding what's needed of them, when it's needed. And uh, we had a couple games where we didn't really shoot the ball well. And it kind of, you know, it didn't allow us to bust, bust open games. Today, you know, Matilda was, was terrific, especially in that second quarter. Kayla King hit some big shots. Congratulations to her. Scored a 1,000 points tonight. Uh, very, very happy for her to be able to do that. Carly was big. You know, she, she went strong to the basket a couple times, uh, helped relieve some of the pressure that was put on them. Uh, and then Olivia. Olivia continues to rebound the basketball at a very high clip, offers some toughness for us. Clara Strack is giving, producing for us. I think um, uh, Karis Baker came in and hit a big shot for us. So everyone understands what they're need, what's needed of them, and uh, they're stepping up and doing it in a, in a fashion that allows us to, to have that chemistry. And uh, if we can continue on, I, I think that we can be a hard out. Liz, at the at the beginning of the second quarter, Matilda hits that three, and you guys are up ten, and you guys are up by double digits the rest of the way. How important was was that good start you guys had, the efficient start to to kind of quiet the crowd a little bit and keep Louisville at bay the rest of the way? Yeah, we place a lot of emphasis on starting quarter as well, um, and I think you know <clears throat> when Matilda uh, steps up and hits big shots, uh, it's, it's just really good for our team. It gets all of us 
uh, hype and feeling good. Um, and also just builds our trust and confidence in each other, which I think is really big. I think, you know, when people are feeling it, we're good at, you know, getting them the ball. And I think we move the ball really well. I think it shows in our assist numbers. Um, but, I mean, yeah, that was huge for us. But she's, you know, come up clutch a lot of times for us. Another good day on the boards for you guys. What, what helped you be so effective uh, rebounding-wise today? Well, our size, our length, um, our, our understanding uh, is part of our defensive philosophy. You know, a lot of times people will underestimate the rebounding aspect of, of defense. And uh, we make sure we, we're in good position uh, with, with being accountable on the defensive end. And we're usually in good position to rebound the basketball. And when you have her, you know, obviously she's the best rebounder in ACC history. Um, and then Olivia is tenacious in her rebounding, and then Clara Strat comes in. And then our guards do a really good job. You know, uh, Matilda Eck is, we joked about it today, uh, yesterday, she's listed as six foot, but she's really six two, mm -hmm. and she's long. And uh, she offers, you know, a, a, an ability to rebound. Kayla rebounds the ball well. A little knucklehead in here gets in there and tries to get a rebound or two every now and then to clean it up. But um, it's just that's part of our defensive philosophy, and uh, we've been rebounding the basketball extremely well, especially during this uh, win streak. What is the other uh, big news of the day? I mean, to you guys, the fact that college game day is going to be uh, in Blacksburg next weekend. It's cool. It's really like it really is really really cool. I mean, I think you know I I shouldn't, but I spend a lot of time on Twitter, and especially during the football season, like you see like how the crowds it brings and the attention it gets, but to be like a women's basketball program on our senior night, like with a good game lined up, like it's going to be absolutely incredible, like goosebumps for sure. It just makes me very proud of what we've done with the program here. Because yeah. um, coming in freshman year, we would have never had a college game day. Um, but that just shows, you know, what Coach Brooks and uh, all of us have been able to do um, and where we've been able to take this program in. A great feeling. It, it is. It, it's magnificent. Um, when I started it, uh, these two in particular took leaps of faith, you know, to help build a program. Um, I, in my wildest dreams, I probably never told them that it was going to be like this, and uh, they still took that leap of faith, you know, and, and through their hard work and trust, not only in me and but in each other. Uh, we built something special in Blacksburg to the point where people. I mean, we've sold out. I don't know the last four games and. Uh, and our, our crowds are crowds, of the, and they're they're not just there promotionally. They're loud, you know. They're loud and giving us, and it's a great women's basketball environment. And I'm so proud because you know our whole group has worked so hard, and for them to be able to experience something like this, it just warms my heart as a coach, as a as a coach of a women's basketball program, and because uh, I know how hard they've worked throughout their careers, and they deserve this. It's kind of going off of that bigger picture, the ACC. I mean, there's been so many upsets. There's been, I mean, Georgia Tech took NC State to the overtime today. How would you, I guess, just describe the growth of the ACC and how much it's improved over, you know, you guys' time, your time, and just this season? What makes it so special? It is the best women's basketball league in the country. Period. <laughs> All right. Um, man, every night. Every night, you know, as you just attest to, to with, uh, with NC State, it was at NC State too, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, any night, you don't come to play. You don't come to play, you can be beat. And uh, that's one of the things that we've stressed to this group very early. Um, it doesn't matter that you were picked number one. It doesn't matter that you're ranked this. It doesn't matter, because that just means that people are going to get up to play you, because there's no fear. You know, Pitt doesn't fear playing us, or, you know, nobody fears playing us. As a matter of fact, it kind of enhances their performances all across the board with anyone. We have a lot of teams with a little number beside their name. And so it's a great opportunity for somebody to get some recognition. We went through that last year. We lost at Clemson, we lost at Miami, and we learned the value of every basketball game in this league. So we take them one game at a time, because if not, you, you can get tripped up. But to be where we are and to win that league last year when we thought it was just as strong, uh, and to be at the top of it this year just really shows how good we can be and how good we are. But uh, this league, in my opinion, it has, it has great coaches. It has phenomenal players. And if you look around at the venues, there's, I mean, there's a lot of excitement. And, you know, you go to NC State, it's going to be a sellout. You know, you come here, it's 12,000 people. You go to our place, it's going to be a sellout. You go to UVA, it's going to be probably seven, 8,000 people. And so it just, it's a lot, of, a lot of commitment from a lot of different areas for women's basketball in the ACC. And that's why it's the best conference in the country. <laughs> <coughs> I 
Uh, you know, you guys made your first eight shots in the third quarter and, and only missed one that entire quarter. It was it a, could, can, you tell, can you guys tell when you're on a roll like that and everything's going down? I mean, do you talk amongst yourselves? Do you, do you kind of, uh, uh, you know, what, what's, what's it like, you know, are you aware when you guys are lights out like that? <laughs> I think I remember going on to the court, and obviously we placed emphasis on third quarter blitz, but I looked at the girls, I was like, I don't even know what the score is right now. Yeah. Like, um, we were like, I, I knew that we were up, but we were kind of acting like, not have no idea what the score is, not going to look at the scoreboard, not going to play to any type of score, um, knowing that we were up. And I think that really helped us come with, out with more intensity. And yeah. We definitely just take it possession by possession, yeah. mainly, I'd say. Like, we don't get you know, comfortable or relax on like previous possessions. Um, and like you said, we just place emphasis on like coming out strong. And but I think we also knew that within that um, we were trading baskets. Mm -hmm. We knew that we couldn't keep relying on like our scoring and it got to a point where we knew that we really needed to get some type of stops because it, it went back and forth a bit and it just wasn't sustainable. They're conditioned to uh, play the possession and not the scoreboard. And, uh, and sometimes when you play the scoreboard, you're up 16, 18, you let your foot off the pedal a little bit and relax. If you play the possession, each possession, like it's the last one, all right, it's going to build your lead. And that's what they've been conditioned to do. That's why they're a winning program. That's why they've had a winning tenure, uh, because they know how to win and they focus on that. And then as far as their shooting, um, I, I work with them every day. And, uh, and when they miss, I'm more surprised that when they make, and even if they go on a roll, roll and uh, I expect them to make just about every shot that they shoot. And, uh, and, they, and, they, and they got to their spots. They knew. They played off each other. We're, we're playing right now where we're, we're, our offense is really good, where we're reacting to what defenses are doing to us. It's not just, hey, we got to run our sets, and if it doesn't work, then we're out of luck. It's like, OK, oh, they're playing it this way. She comes over to me, and she says, hey, blah, 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 they're playing it this way, here, here, here. And then we're reacting to that and taking the second option, You know, if you try to take away our first option. And we've got enough confidence in our second and third options that we can be successful if we go to it. And that's what happened today. We were going to it, we are getting clean looks, getting clean looks, and we were capitalizing on it. Georgia, you mentioned that you have goosebumps just thinking about it. You, you, Sunday will be your fifth sellout of the season. To be able to have this that kind of exposure in Castle with the crowd that has supported you guys all year and you know has continued to grow, what are you expecting in terms of crowd, in terms of how rowdy it's going to be, and how exciting is that going to be able to just to see and play in front of? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to be exciting. I know that everyone's going to have great energy, but I think us as a team have to really lock in and focus on the game at hand. UNC is a great team, and, you know, we, we don't have many games left, but, you know, we for sure have to come in with, like, a locked-in mindset. Um, I don't want to say it's a distraction in a bad term, but, you know, if people are worried about all the rowdiness of it, then it kind of takes away from the game. So I think we have to appreciate what we have and come out with great energy and know that the crowd is going to be, as you said, rowdy. Um, but we have to definitely for sure lock in on UNC because we, we know just how <laughs> juicy those games get with UNC, so. All right, thank you all. All right, guys. <laughs> 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 <laughs>